We have five by five. Can you hear the tunes? Painting goo 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 goo. You can hear it? Nice. Das ist gut. Painting Go Oh shit <laughs> That nigga died! He fell over! Shit. <laughs> little bear, little bear had too much to drink. <laughs> Chaps all over the place. Put a tip in the bowl, because I'm probably going to have to put this little cunt in rehab. Right, right, that's enough. Before he falls over again and makes a fucking utter show of himself and me. Greetings, one and all, and welcome, Io Coso, to Painting Go. Happy Monday, you. I hope you're all where. Are you where? Right. We have work to do. We have a painting go to finish. A ninja has unleashed his wrath. Upon the Czech Republic. In an act of revenge. Right. Okay. Greetings. One and all. How are you? Was your weekend good? Was it weak? Did it end? I hope you all had a nice Thanksgiving. I had a, I had a long, fairly lazy weekend. I needed it. I fucking like I, I I am not getting enough recovery sleep. Like I'm not getting my my REM sleep or whatever the fuck you call it. My deep sleep. Deep sleep. I'm just I'm resting, but I'm not actually waking up and feeling rested. <laughs> it is a quandary. It's a fucking pain in the hole, is what it is. Oh. Two big cups of coffee isn't enough to get me to stop yawning. But perhaps the tunes. Perhaps the tunes will help. Uh, demons. Yes, demons. We shall dance with the demons soon enough. Soon, to wake up. Soon. Right, hold on a sec while I... Uh, what would be the easiest way to do this? I'm going to just expand it. Just expand it for a sec, and then go back in. Let me know if you guys can see all this uh, while I'm doing this, because I don't know if I'm sharing just the audio or the screen or whatever. Where's all the tunes? Tunes, tunes, tunes. I'm so organized here on Painting Goo, you know? you think a demigod would be more organized, but alas. Aras. What the fuck was that? What was what was that? What was that? Was that was that it? A, was that what I think it was? I recognize that little tune. You send me a donation when I'm not looking at the screen. It's your own fault. I'll look at it when I get back. Where are my fucking tunes? There we go. We're getting close. There we go. Aha! Right. 
Now. Now we gather Archie. You're a feckin' mess, bro. You love it. You love how messy I am. Uh, super chat. Where is this? Oh, Nick Knock. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> Can you just, like... Somebody put in Bob's Vagine. So I'm, assu I'm assuming that you could just, like, put something in when you tip. That's hilarious. Painting saved my life, bro. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, well, it's, it's it's certainly saved mine in, in some aspects, like, certainly saved, saved my sanity, I think. All oh, this shit. But anyway, right. You see that, you little fuck? All ten euros of that is mine. None of it's yours. Sit there and weep, you little shit. Or I will sick Garlos on you. Yes, I am actually commanding him to cry. Otherwise, I will have him assaulted by a tiger. This is merciful in my realm. Yeah, for reals. For real reals. Really? Really? Really, really? I was Bob's Vagine, or was I? Did you pay that gay away? I think it was me. I was the Vagine of Bob. I was Bob's Vagine. I was fucked on the daily. <laughs> it's like you. I will. I am the former. I am the former vagina of Bob. <laughs> like, fucking hell! What a what a disgraceful existence to be formally no, to be known as someone's former sexual organ. <laughs> oh, only here, only on painting you do you hear such ridiculous things, and you love it. You love coming here. Listening to me shite on as I attempt to earn my way into the glorious halls of heaven. Well, back in. Back in. I was there already. And I got kicked the fuck out. But now it's time. For painting goo! Painting goo. Painting goo. It's fucking goo! Painting goo! Painting goo! Painting goo! Painting goo! It's not a silent painting goo in intro this time. Painting goo! It's not just me miming with a fan dressed as fuck. <laughs> oh, that shit was funny. Silent intro! <laughs> 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 Get the brood throwing! But it is time! It is time for the goo to flow, the blood to flow. Upon the canvas I shall paint a glorious depiction of epicness. I kind of already have. But today we shall finish the epicness. Episode 75, part 6. I love it when they go up to part 6. I fucking love it. When an episode has six parts, you know it's a good one. It's probably like two full hours of me just talking shite. <laughs> uh, this painting. This painting who looks... Lo looks lit. Where are we? <laughs> I seriously hate that little heart thing getting in the fucking way of the words in the chat. Like... Be gone from me, symbol of love. I hate thee. You obstruct my vision of my people's wondrous things they send me digitally. The ninja warned the heathens to check themselves. Lest they whack them, lest they wreck themselves. Oh, I was like, who, like, what were you saying, like, it's time to make. It's time to keep check in check. It's like the ninja put check in check, like he's playing chess. Like. <laughs> loosely, loosely, the story of this painting goo is some way or another, somehow, some when, some why. The citizens, the denizens, the populace of the Czech Republic. Wronged a giant ninja. How you do this? I do not know. 
but they did it. And this, this is what you get when you wrong a ninja and you have no honor about it. He will fling a giant table at you, WWE style. I mean, like, what a way to destroy a city, you know? I bet, like, you can't just find a giant table, you know? Let alone a giant ninja, you know, to wield said table. So, obviously, this giant ninja spent the last few weeks fashioning a giant table just to throw it at a city and its people. That is not just impressive, that is outlandishly creative. <laughs> Oh my. I fucking love this song. Allow the music to permeate your soul and your spina. Get the blood flowing. Your chi building so that it might climax by the end of the stream. I shall paint something epic. We've already painted something epic. We shall continue to paint something epic. I'm gonna need to expand that again, actually, just to control the fucking. Oh, there's the rune. Okay. Right. I'm nice and warm. My chi is throwing. My brood and my chi are throwing. Freery! Throughout my veins. So, it is now time to dance with some demons. How dare you, Defender of Dancing with demons. Blasphemy. I consider it rude to not acknowledge the fact that demons can be fun to hang around with. We all know it's true. Some demons are quite the laugh, you know? I mean, who wouldn't want to hang around with a leprechaun for a day? Sure, you got to keep an eye on your gold. Sure, you can't believe a word he's fucking saying, but the adventure is still there. He fashioned the table out of pure ire and rage in the woods. <laughs> and so he just sat in the lotus position in the middle of a forest, focusing solely on how much he hated the Czech Republic and its citizens. And a table just formed in front of him, in front of him from the roots and the branches of the fucking, like, materia in the forest around him. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Is the music too loud? It sounds a bit loud on that one. Paint, paint. What's it? It's on 43. Put it on 28. No. Oh. That didn't make a difference my end. I came across this before. Hold on. I'm going to... I'm going to leave it on like 36 for you guys. Let me know how it sounds. And then on my end, I'm going to put it down to like 50 or so. There we go. So I don't know how that works. But let me know if you can't hear it now or some shit about the turn it up. Um, right. So, the local military, as per usual, has showed up to kind of deal with the situation. Auto cannons, missile launchers abound. The turrets on the hillside are a bit too dark for my liking, though. I think I'm going to brighten them up a bit so you can see them better. Um, the buildings are fine. They do, they do, like, they look fine. <laughs> they do what they need to do. Speech bubble is nice and clear. Music is perfect. Excellent. That makes me happy. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're going to touch, <laughs> going to touch this thing up a bit. There we go again. Talking about touching things up like a proper fucking perv on painting. Up. Hold on, I just touched this ninja up. Um... These, t these turrets need a bit of touching up. Uh, right, where's my brack? Where is my brack? Right, we're gonna need some grey in this bitch. We got a brack, white, um, sip. 
Okay, right. Um, yeah, turrets. We'll do the turrets first. So we just need black, black and white for the moment. Um, I'm perving you. <laughs> Oh my god. Perving <laughs> Yoshida! What are you doing standing in that window at such an hour? I am Pervingu. <laughs> I'm the girlingu. In the roomingu. <laughs> oh fucking hell. And we all know we all we all know that, like, you know, even from a distance the the Asians do come across kind of pervy, you know? I mean, the first time I heard that fucking shit were, like, vending machines with used knickers in them or some shit, like... And it's, like, I don't know if that's actually a thing, but that's just, like, that was, like, the rumor that was going around the internet years ago, like, you know? And there's there's, there's fucking videos of them, like, just, they just look like a, any other vending machine. Except there's knickers in it, like... <laughs> it's like, what in the... What in the fuck? Like, like who came up with that idea? Like, <laughs> oh, God, like... There's, like, so many things I love about Japan, and then there's, like, so many things that I'm, like, make me want to not like Japan because of those things. <laughs> it's like when you... It's like when you've loved a band for years, and then you find out, like, one of the... One of the band members, like, fucking, like, you know, was a... Uh, uh, was a pedophile or a fucking like you know like something like something like irredeemable something like abhorrent like do you know what I mean like like he uh, like murdered a bitch and got away with it or some shit like like or so, like financially ruined his friends by selling the rights to some shit like do you know the usual stuff or like one of the band members is just an absolute cock right and it just like it ruins this like like how do you separate the art from the artist do you know what I mean like sometimes I can, do you know, like I, I think one of the easiest and best examples of that is Michael Jackson. It's like everybody still listens to Michael Jackson music. He made amazing songs. Like, do you know what I mean? Like you stick on a Michael Jackson tune and you just like parts of your body just want to move and shit. Like, yeah. especially the crotch region. I think that's just like, I think that was just programming. Like, you know. Just like constantly grabbing his dick and shit. Family Guy did the best fucking like piss take of that, where he just starts punching himself in the crotch, and like at the end of it, whips out an Uzi and starts like, yeah, just starts like spraying his bollocks over. Like, oh, when you you don't think about any of that shit when you're listening to the songs though, like you know, like you know, they just don't care about us, and it's like it's a good song, like you know. That's what I think is hilarious about, like, a lot of metal bands, is, like, if you read the lyrics to, like, something like fucking one of the songs, like, Winter in Thomas by Ovid's Withering, do you know what I mean? It's about, like, Greek mythology and stuff, like, and they all, like, you know, and all this shit, like, and I fucking love it. I love heavy metal, like, you know, the guitars and all, and the drums and shit are fucking amazing, like, and they throw in, like, you know, symphony-esque like orchestral music in the background and shit and it's like just epic as fuck like but when you read the lyrics to that stuff it's like almost like like it has it has like morality and like you know fundamental meaning of life shit to it and stuff like and then you and then fucking like cardi b comes out with wap or whatever and you're just like there is a discrepancy here in what we call art you know <laughs> like it's like I mean, the, the fact that you can even call any, like, well, not any, like, there's so many things these days that are called, or that are considered art and shit, like, like, I thought about this the other day, where, like, I remember somebody saying, well, art is subjective, or be be beauty is subjective, I can't remember who said it, I think it was, a, I think it was that uh, streamer I was watching and fucking, like, uh, Hey Zeus, Here's Toast, or something, he's playing, like, Liza P at the moment. I think it was him who was like, well, uh, beauty is subjective and s stuff like that. Like, couldn't agree, couldn't disagree more. You know, I think I've said this on the stream before where it's like, beauty is objective. Do you know what I mean? Like, beauty is like, th like there are properties and aspects like that allow you to categorize something as beautiful, you know? That like, without beautiful, you wouldn't have ugly. 
and for for to say that's subjective then you could make the like you could easily make the same argument that morality is subjective which we all know it isn't you are either moral or you are not it is either beautiful or it is not these are the fundamentals of painting you. um anthony you welcome you to painting you. Uh, <laughs> those are the latest night members only episodes <laughs> We'll do, we we will do nighting goo, you know. Like there's there's raving, there's pimp, uh, painting goo, raving goo. The pimping goo will be a thing soon enough. <laughs> and I think like the females probably just gonna go ape shit when I do when I put blackface on. It's like like that is gonna look so funny. I can't even. I can't even. Like I have such a vivid imagination, and I can't accurately like envision how I'm gonna look with blackface. Well, I have to do my forearms and my hands. I was just like black the whole thing. <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be hilarious. And I mean black. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not even like I'm not gonna put like a shade of brown on me that makes me look like I could be black. No, I like straight up like fucking death has come for you, black. Like abyss black. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like jet black. I'm gonna have to get body paint, obviously. I'm not putting like acrylic fucking plastic shit in my skin. But fuck me, is that gonna be funny? Um The Wondrous Demon Hunter Bear has purchased me a pimp hat for for exactly that reason. So we'll see how that goes. Uh Painting looking good. Why thank you. Uh it's like, yeah, it's it's not as chaotic as some of the other ones, but it's getting there. I want it to be slightly more chaotic before we wrap it up. Maybe a little bit more colourful. I think the mountains and the turrets need to, need to be redone. Other than that, yeah, it's coming along well. Um, Wayne Static made some sick music with his band Static X, but his own addictions got the best of it. I've heard of that chap. He's, he's dead now, isn't he? Or some shit like... You know, uh... I can't remember, like, if there was, like, allegations against him over some shit, like... But, yeah, and he was a mad-looking fucker, like, do you know what I mean? You think my beard's insane? That dude, that dude's beard was fucking, like, epic as fuck, and then his hair was all, like, blown out and shit, like, it was fucking... What was, a? Uh... I can't even remember that, like, like the most famous Static X song. It's got, like, a really good... It's got a really good rhythm to it and shit, like... Man, the Kerrang! and Skulls days were just the best. Um, Otsego Go! Two Acre gets it? I don't. What's Otsego Go? Is that a band? Or I was like, am I missing some shit? I like, See? I can't be a weeb because I don't know what that means and it looks like Japanese. <laughs> I'm all, uh, I meet all of White's, White Snake. I, oh, you met all of White Snake when you were a kid? No way. Um, what's a white snake tune? What's that white snake tune? Oh, I'm blanking on it now. I used to. There was a white. The, my dad used to have this CD called Power Ballads, and he played that in the car. And I used to love like so many tunes on it. And I remember one of them being by White Snake. Um, fucking. No, yeah, I can't remember the name. Like, I vaguely remember the lyrics. But, like, not even. Like, it's it's like... It's, like, entering my mind, but, like, it's, like, slipping through my fucking mind, like, sand through your fingertips. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, like, coming in and out, but, like, I can't actually, like, pinpoint it down. Like, it's just vaguely there. But anyway, right. Let's redo these turrets. Let's get these bitches wet and do some painting goo. Uh... I finally replaced the water. So I'm not I'm not drowning these bitches in fucking dirty water anymore. At least for the beginning of this painting group, they will have clean water to be drowned in. Um I met Wayne, he was really short in person, but Cole Chamber lead Dex was super short. 
I have like I have heard that a lot that like you know all these like uh, well not all obviously but like a lot of them you meet them in real life and you're like oh my god this nigga's tiny how funny would it be if you met uh, Owen in real life and you were like this chap's tiny <laughs> I <laughs> like Well, you'd have to be like to, to consider Owen tiny. You'd have to be like fucking like seven, eight, like. <laughs> and even then, look. I want like a pale grey. This is too. It's too dark. They're already pretty dark. Need like a pale grey. There we go, that's a bit better. Yeah, like, it'd literally have to be a fucking Nephilim to, like, meet Big Bear and be like, This nigga's tiny! Ain't no Big Bear! Like six eights fucking huge like Yes, much clearer, much clearer. Um Wayne, no, Wayne wasn't too short. Dex was. <laughs> uh. It's so funny to it, like when uh, when Owen was going hard at Rogan after all that shit happened. And you start giving short people like loads of fucking shit, like. And then I thought to myself, like, the amount of people, like the amount of just men, the amount, well not men, the amount of like young lads that I met growing up that were like really small, like tiny, smaller than some fucking like girls at the time, like teenage girls, like. And a lot of them, like, if not all of them, were, like, pure weird and had, like, issues and shit. There is totally that small man syndrome thing. And it makes sense. I mean, like, you know, if you're surrounded by, like, generally, if you're surrounded by males and females who are, like, taller and bigger and wider than you and shit, like, you would feel like, you know, like, uh, I kind of, like, I get how, like, well, not that I get, like, I, I've thought about, like, the whole Nephilim human thing where it's, like, you know, you have these, like, guys who are, like, giants... And they're like superhuman and shit, like, and then you have just like normal humans, and like, the power dynamics between that would have been crazy at the time, or still is, if it exists in a different part of the realm or only etherically or some shit, like, but like, imagine how horrible, it, like, like even on a human level, right? Just on a human level, uh, you go back in time to when, like, you know, shit was more intense. And, you know, like, buff, before guns and stuff like that. It was proper, like, just, like, still lads getting off boats and killing and raping and shit. Like, could you imagine, like, being the guy... Like, perfect example. Uh, in Braveheart. The scene where the fucking local duke shows up. And is like, it is my divine right to take this woman into my bed. The wife, uh, like, your wife into my bed on her first night and all this shit. And he basically just shows up with a bunch of lads takes this guy's wife who we just married back to his castle and rapes her and then hands her back you know and it's like that's just because he has like you know power you know and like resource he he has resources and power and he chooses to be immoral and exerted in in that fashion like you know but imagine if he had just like had a group of guys who were just like seven eight Fucking like three hundred pounds of muscle, 
fucking like could like leap and run and shit like all this like just like you know human times three you know, like there's no competing with that one on one like you know this guy would just take your woman and be gone with her like there's nothing you could do you'd have to like find him in his sleep and like hope you can like cut the dude's head off quick enough before he wakes up and borders you like you know there there comes a point where there's such a disparity in in, in simple physical power and you know ability it's like how can you compete with that like but then the other thing i was thinking of is like you hear about these giants who like saw these you know human women and and like we were like oh well we want to mate with them they're beautiful but weren't they tiny do you know what i mean like so like you're telling me that like women got like the male version of snoo snood like like what mo like if a guy's that big like could you imagine the hulk shagging betty he'd kill her like in seconds <laughs> Hi, mm, Betty. Yeah, no more Betty. Betty gone. Betty dead. Betty a puddle, puddle on the ground. You stupid fuck. Like, you know I mean? like, like the the logistics of that doesn't make any sense. Like, like, do you know what I mean? Like, chap would like like the second he got like the second he penetrated said female like she's dead. Like, do you know? unless Nephilims have like normal sized cocks, which would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> no, like, I wonder if that's why the Monkey King is so pissed at me. Um, did I just like spill a divine secret? All the gods have tiny penises. That's why they hate us so much. That's why they demand sacrifices. That's why do, is that why we have to build fucking giant cocks that have like made of concrete and statues and obelisks and all this shit? It's because like the gods have cock envy. That would be hilarious. Uh, yeah, my mate upset one of the band members, so we got chased by the band and their wives and girlfriends. <laughs> Surreal. That's hilarious. What did he do? I think I was about 12 at the time. Jesus. The fuck did he do? <laughs> Your missus sucks dick. I was just like, it's not even a bad insult. Like, I was literally trying to think of the most childish thing you could say to a band member at a gig. Like, Okay, like, you suck! <laughs> like, you'd have to be full Chewbacca status to call Owen short. But even then, if you were full Chewbacca status, you'd still be like, you know, like you'd call me short, because I'm like 5'11, you know? Owen would still be like, here. <laughs> like, it's crazy. <laughs> oh. I think it's gonna need another layer. They're still a bit like they're, they're, that one's nice and visible. I have to put highlights on and stuff. I was also thinking, like, we could throw a dragon in somewhere, you know, maybe. Or just some other stuff. It's like, my favourite painting goo recently was the one in Gambia with the Xenoboon and the fucking space, the, the submarines in the sky and all. Like, uh, uh, Defender Gepo. Oh. Round two. Burp. Right. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I just love the chaos of that one. The conflict in Gambia. Fucking hilarious painting. There's a couple of the, pa the there's a couple of the recent pa uh, recent painting goes that I actually might actually put for sale, like, because uh, they're fucking they're funny as fuck, like. And they're pretty cool looking. Um, up until I'd say about like maybe six months ago, like the painting goes were just like purely just like childish garbage for the f for the feck of it, like just for the fun. But like I've started to be able to like 
like I'm now better at being quicker, which is funny because like the last thing I thought was that doing this stream would actually make me a better artist. <laughs> like, because I spend like two hours a day doing it now, and I'm just like, you know, oh, those two hours could be spent like you know trying to improve my skills and like marketing my own art and all these things, and it's like that's what I'm doing. I am getting better at painting. I am marketing my art. My art. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Like. Like, I was thinking of, like, maybe just a giant bird or something. I don't know, like. Dragon. Jet, like, I could put jet fighters in it again. Or an attack helicopter. I haven't put an attack helicopter in yet. I could put an attack helicopter in with, like, some buff dude on the turret, like, you know. Some Czech guy being, like, fucking, I don't know. Do any, anybody in the chat speak Czech? How do you say, be gone, demon, in, in, in Chechnyan? <laughs> Yeah, the Napoleon short man syndrome is is a thing. Yeah, it, it would appear to be. Has anyone seen Napoleon? The movie that recently came out with Joaquin Phoenix playing Napoleon. It looks good. I want to see it. It's not. It's not often a movie comes out these days, and I'm like, I actually want to watch that. Most of the time, I'm just like, oh, more of this bollocks. <laughs> I like Joaquin Phoenix as an actor. I've seen him in a few things now, and he's good, like. He's decent. shade the whole thing because then like it'll kind of ruin it I won't be able to make out certain parts that's one thing I didn't uh, take into account when I started with, like even not doing the painting it was just doing my own stuff like resolution you know like uh, how like big or small you can make details and then you look at the thing from a distance and stuff and then it looks grand like because sometimes i'll look at like even some of my symmetricals i look at them right up close and i'm like oh that line's a bit wobbly and like you know there's a there's a curved line here that like could be you know more of a smooth curve like you know and, but then you look at the thing from like 10 feet away and it looks like sharp as fuck like you know and that's one thing I've noticed as well, is like I look at some people's art on Instagram that I follow who are like fucking professional, like unreal artists. Like, and when you look at some of their stuff like really up close, it's not far off like what I'm capable of doing, you know? I just lack the experience and like some of the know-how and shit, you know? But other than that, like I don't think it'll be, like I'd, I'd say another easily within the next 10 years I will be like confident enough in my abilities to actually like um, you know like charge like a couple of grand for a painting every time I do one you know like right now I'm in like a couple of hundred quid ballpark like, like the biggest one I've sold so, so far was 450 euro which for me is like a big step up like you know but I don't, I don't think it'll be too long before I'm, like, doing something on a canvas and charging a few thousand for it, like, and somebody will buy it, you know? It's important, I think it's important to, like, you know, yeah, be realistic, but, and, like, but at the same time, like, don't be... Because I, like, I have those voices in my head where it's like, you know, oh, it's shit, nobody's gonna want it. 
even with painting you like sometimes like i'd be like oh like fucking like nobody's nobody's watching it it's a it's a waste of time you know like yeah i love doing it and it's fun but like it's not it's not gonna pay the bills and like all that is is just demons telling you to like giving you all these reasons to stop uh, stop doing something good you know that's all I think it is now. At least, uh, now, anyway, like, you know, like, there would have been a stage where I let voices like that in, thinking that it was actually me doing the doubting and thinking the negative things. But with meditation and focus, I've cut, like, I have actually come to the knowledge that, like, it, it's not just. You're not the only one that inhabits your mind, you know? Think, like, to a level, like, God and Satan, like, inhabit your consciousness. Either in, like, a fragmented form or in a whole form. Like, you know, they're, like, they're, they're in you, you know, battling it out. I've always felt like that. I've always felt a significant amount of internal conflict. In recent years, though, it's become a lot easier. A lot easier. It's one of the reasons, it's like, again, like I'm always saying this as a goal. That's one of the reasons I love this community, but it's true. There's so many reasons why I love this community. The people I've met, the things I've learned. What I've learned about myself. Yeah, those towards look way better now. Okay. Um... Yeah, attack helicopter. Let's get some green in this bitch! I love making military green. Like olive drab and... Such shades as that. Uh, I fucking... Just before the stream, I bought... I bought more of these, right? Th those three colors. Permanent green, permanent yellow. <laughs> I said permanent green, permanent yellow. Permanent green, permanent yellow, and permanent red. Uh, you know, like the primaries or whatever, like. And 100 milliliters, right, in these. And they do, they last quite a lot, especially when you're doing stuff like this, like. 100 euro. Three of these. 100 euro. Madness. Madness. Utter fucking madness. It's worth it though. It is worth it. I'll give them that. Like I have to give them that. The paint the paints are that good that like I like I think it's worth it. But it also it also gets me to like, you know, uh be way more economical with them, like in the beginning, I was very liberal with them, and I'd be like, oh, I need to get more, like, and then very quickly, I'm like, Jesus Christ, the amount of money I'm spending on paint. <laughs> Fuck. It's an expensive craft, really is, like. Very expensive craft. But so much fun. I'm, like, repeatedly surprised as to how, like... I'll just totally lose myself in mixing colors. Happens all the time. I'll just be mixing a new, like, shade or, like, you know, blue or green or something, like, to put it in a a pre-mixed tub. And I, like, and I'll just, I'll just be staring at the color while I mix it, like, and I'm just like, oh, that's a really nice shade of, like, whatever, like, you know. Just obsessed with color. Um... 33 euro each Illuminati confirmed. I know, it was like fucking... It was like 31, 40 or some shit. I don't know. Like, and then like, the, you know, including delivery, it all went over like 100 quid. Like, mad expensive. But it's not like I'm just, like, you know, it's not like I'm just using them for painting. Goo. Like, you know, they, these, are the, these are the stuff that I use for my other... My other stuff, like... Um, like this. 
You just like like look how look how vibrant those colors are like you know. It's crazy. Just the difference like and and because it dries matte. I I'm seriously so bad at the fucking mirror image shit. Um but like I just I just love the matte finish like do you know what I mean? It it allows you to get like really detailed contrasting shapes and colors and stuff like it's fucking so cool like i need a like i need a fucking when stuntman bear and scouse and all were here uh one of the first things he uh, stuntman said when he came into the room he was like are these for sale and i'm just like yeah they're all for sale like buy something <laughs> but like all I've done is like put my stuff up on Facebook market or put it up on Instagram and stuff like that. Like I'm so bad, like uh, actually promoting my art and like marketing it well and shit. Like I'll just make something that looks cool and I'll just put a price tag on it based on how long it took me to do. And then I'll put it up. And if nobody buys it, like I don't promote it again. I don't push it again. Like, do you know what I mean? And I don't have like a, a website, like with all my stuff for sale and shit. Like it's just, Three years in, and I've sold, like, a couple of dozen paintings, and I've designed logos for people, and I've done t-shirts, and, like, all these different things. But I'm still... It's so hard, for me, anyway, for somebody like me, to find that consistent, everyday, like, you know, winning routine that just, like, makes everything, like, tick along, you know, like... Like I made a t I made a tenner today on the stream, you know. Some day some days I'll make like ten or twenty five or like thirty quid or some shit like that. Uh -huh. And then like another day I'll say I'll sell a painting. But then I won't sell anything for like weeks, like do you know what I mean? And like whatever about stressing me out, like it stresses stresses the female out because she's like he's not he's not making he's not making money, you know? Which is like very it's a very modern thing to to assume that because you're not making money that you're not like doing something good or working towards something good just because it's not making money you know like how fucked is that if it doesn't make money then it's like considered like well, what are you doing it for you know that's similar to what i was talking about on the last stream where i was like doing something for money is like a really shit reason to do something you know you should do something because it, like, speaks to your soul. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be doing the shit that, like, makes you feel alive and makes you feel grateful to be you, you know? Like, in the last few years, I've, like, become so grateful that, like, I, I can do what I, do, I can do and, like, I am the way I am, you know? Spent so many years being like, you know, too lazy, I'm too this, I'm too that, like, I need to get my shit together and all that, like, you know. When in reality, like, I knew what I had to do, and I knew how to do it. But I was just choosing to let all the other shit get in the way, like, instead of choosing to do this. And allowing life to, like, sort itself out around me, like, you know. Because that's what's happened in the last few years. I just focus on making stuff. Even if it takes me weeks or months or whatever, like, you know, you just, uh, just do it. Just focus on making shit. And I, like, I do agree with the Christians. God just takes care of the rest. Uh, those are brilliant colors. Why? Th yeah, they are. They're lovely, aren't they? Fuck it. Like, like, sometimes I'm like, I don't know how to respond sometimes. I'm like, oh, thank you. You know, like, but like, so, like, I look, with these things, I, like, I've said it a few times. These, when I, when I make these, I only do half. It's like, it's like the realm or like God does the other half. Cause like I literally all I do is like split it down the middle, do a design on one side. And then I use like, you know, techniques and like physics in a sense. It's like just flipping an image. Like, do you know what I mean? Because you have half of it. So like, it doesn't feel like I'm like, you know, such a good artist that I can create these beautiful things because I only create half of it. And then I, f I flip it and then I fill it in, you know? It's not like I'm so good that I'm like, you know, because there's guys out there like who like pinstripe cars and bikes and stuff where they can like, you know, they can do something going right 
and then do something going left, almost perfectly symmetrical, you know? Now, granted, even the best ones, when you look at their designs, they're not perfectly symmetrical, but they're fucking close, you know? But that's what I wanted to create, was like, I wanted to create stuff that was like, bang on symmetrical, you know? Perfectly, like, perfect symmetry. Maybe like here and there, a bit of a, a bit of abstraction, like, you know? Like the one I sold for 450 is a bit mad looking, but it's still symmetrical. Like, you know, there's parts of it that are asymmetrical and shit, like, but I just think, like, when you, when your eye looks at stuff like that, something happens, like, do you know what I mean? It's like, you, it's like when you look at a telly, it's like when you're watching TV and your, and your mind goes into this, like, wave form, this wave pattern, you know? I get like that when I look at symmetrical images with loads of color and stuff like that. I'm like, ooh, that looks cool. And I think that's like, is it, that, that's what I want to do with painting you and like my art in general. Like when I get into animation or like, or like I want to design video games and stuff like that eventually, like, you know, but I have to like start somewhere. And uh, what I want to do is like, not educate, but like remind people that all this shit can be like really fun and cool, you know, and you can do it with your hands. You don't need like, a tablet and Photoshop and fucking these like really expensive like digital pens and all this fucking crap. It's like you can just get paint and make something beautiful and people will like stare at it for hours, you know, and like and appreciate it for years to come. And it's just like a still image, you know. I think people have forgotten in a lot of like the mainstream has forgotten like how fucking unbelievably capable our hands are, you know? Because I look at some of the artists I follow on Instagram and I'm just like, holy fuck! It's so good! Like, dude, dude's doing cars and all and just acrylics on a canvas and I'm just like, fuck, it's so good! Like, And that's what I want people to feel when they look at my stuff like you know i want people to just like look at it and go wow you know like and i want to do that i want to look at something i make i want to sta stand back from something that i've done and be like fuck me that's good you know and like it feels less prideful and arrogant when because of the manner in which i do them like like because when i when i do the first half and then i do the trace and flip it over and i and for the first time i get to see what it's going to look like as a symmetrical image the amount of times i've been like holy shit this is going to look really cool and like i didn't design it that way do you know what i mean like not entirely it's weird it's an odd it's an odd sensation it's like i create my own version of rorschachs and like i think it would be a great way to get kids to paint because, like, you know, a lot of the thing, like, a big thing that stops people early on when they're trying to get into art is, like, they can't create something that they think is, like, beautiful or good looking. You know, they're like, oh, they'll make something. They're like, oh, that's kind of shit. Like, you know, I'm not very good. But with stuff like this, you could create something beautiful really easily and then over time become way better, you know? Um... Uh, I studied art history and architectural history. Brilliant subjects getting into the mind behind the works. Yeah, like, architectural history is, you know, and art history is, like, a, a, some of it I found, like, really interesting. Like, the skills, the craft, the materials, how people discovered certain things. You know, like, the mirrors and shit that they use, like, in fine art and stuff like that. But, uh, it's getting a bit dark in here. I'll turn on the back, like, um, like so much of it is so fucking boring. Do you know what I mean? And like useless information. I don't know. I don't. I don't need to know when this nigga that did this painting lived. Do you know what I mean? I just need to know how he did it and why. Maybe. Oh god. Right. Less ranting, more painting, Goop. If you want me to keep ranting, super chat me. <laughs> if you want me to keep painting, Goop, super chat me. <laughs> if you want me to take a sip, super chat. If you want to see the tiger, super chat. <laughs> I'll show the tiger for free. 
Garlos is my enforcer. Everybody say hello to Garlos. If you already know Garlos, if you're already aware of Garlos, then you should know these three important things. Like and subscribe. And if you don't, you're a cunt. Smash the right button. I'm just got like water spraying all, like obviously I have water in my mustache from the sips. Just like spraying it all over the laptop. And then Baru, where is the to pain tingle. You honor us with your presence, brother. How the fuck are you? Yeah, the academics made uh, made it boring and pompous. Yeah, like, you know, like I, I didn't want to be an artist because of what artists tend to be like. You know, they talk all, they talk all this like absolute like fucking just blowing smoke up your ass, hot air shite. Where it's like, well, I think the artist was trying to depict the struggle of the. It's so fucking up your own hole and fucking like you know well, well the, the colors contrasting they, they represent the seasonal defamation of the soul and like fuck off do you know what i mean like i come from like does it look cool does it look cool does it make you laugh is it cute is it do, does it like instill fear in you when you look at it like do you know what i mean like i think one of the most impressive things to be able to do with just paint on a fucking bit of paper or a canvas or something is like if you can paint something that when somebody looks at it it creeps them out you know like a fucking image of like a just like this grey gloomy fucking like abandoned city street windows knocked in and just like a girl in a dress and it's all torn and there's like flames coming out of her hair or something like just you know them real abstract things where you're just like, whoa, you know, like... I remember seeing one where it was like some bitch from the fucking Victoria era with the, you know, the, the big poofy dresses and the headpiece and the, the ridiculously ornate lace fucking uh, umbrella. And she's in that position with the umbrella, like, you know, and she's very... Her posture is perfect. But she's, like, been hit by a fucking firebomb or nuke or some shit and all of her, like... All of her features are like blown in that in one direction off screen, and there's like flames and shit. It's one of the coolest fucking things I've ever seen. Like, and, uh, I think it was an oil painting. Like that to me is like art. Do you know what I mean? But uh, like a lot of art today is like it's all it's very it's so utilitarian and mechanical because so many things exist especially digitally and get like video games is a big one like you know you have all these artists just in an office on a pad doing like you know not shit you know a lot of the art and games is fucking amazing but it's like like i remember watching a documentary on a game called uh well it wasn't a documentary it was like a behind the scenes section of a game called darksiders 2 great game and they asked one of the artists who designed one of the main characters uh, to do them a sketch of the main character. And he start, he gets a piece of paper and he starts sketching it out with pencil and all. And he, he's like, as he's, yeah, as he begins to sketch, he's like, oh my God, it's been like, it's been so long since I uh, did anything in pencil. Well, that really like, kind of upset me and turned me off the idea of getting into the industry. Cause it was like, point in being an artist, if you end up doing everything on a screen, like that would just fuck with me so hard. Like, do you know what I mean? Like all these like things that can just be deleted. Do you know what I mean? Like if you did like this epic work of art and all, and all like the only like physical representation of it is a digital print on a bit of like laminated paper. Man. That's not what I want at all. Like I, I want people to be like, either like actual clay or like you know polymer models painted or like straight up like canvas or paper like artwork like do you know what i mean like if I, like one of the things i really admire about that anime uh, akira is like they had like dozens of artists fan painting all these like scenes that had to be like overlaid over each other and all like fucking Hundreds of thousands of fucking still images to like make an animation and all, all hand painted. They fucking, they used to like, like these dudes did like the fucking cityscapes by hand. 
you know, with a ruler and a very fine fucking brush, just doing like they had they had five millimeter windows, two millimeter windows, and one millimeter windows to show perspective. Have you any idea how fucking crazy that is in terms of like labor, like the amount of labor and time and focus, like? You like you want to fucking be paying those guys so much fucking good money to be able to like for like eight hours a day, you know, just doing windows on a skyscraper for one scene, like you know, like like that's the shit I admire. Like, do you know what I mean? Not working in a fucking warehouse, moving around boxes for people who order shit off Amazon for their garden. Do you know what I mean? It's like so like it's so like like I admire dudes from like third world countries and shit like black lads who are like totally content picking up rubbish and stuff and I know I could be that guy if the like if I like maybe I couldn't I shouldn't maybe I shouldn't have said that I know I could I don't know if I could be that guy considering my experiences I can't like it doesn't bring me joy to tolerate certain circumstances you know like I think it can be admirable in a in a person who's like in dire straits but they still have joy and they're still smiling it's like okay that's admirable but there comes a point where it almost seems psychotic where it's like you know oh I just choose to be happy you know like it's like are you or on a level are you like ignoring reality to a really big degree you know, just seems like so fucked up to me where so, so many people can like accept and tolerate utter depravity. I mean, look at what, look, look at the clown world we're dealing with right now where you see all these fucking like, you know, tolerance is a word they throw around a lot. Like, you know, you must tolerate this. Remember that song? And if you tolerate this. Then your children will be next, will be next, will be next, will be next. It's so true, like, if you put up with this shit, you know, if you're like, oh, well, it's good money. That's not a good reason, you know? Like, don't get me wrong. In some can in some context, it's like, okay, do what you got to do. But, like, if this is all based on free will and this is all a choice then why are you choosing to tolerate shit? You know? That doesn't make you better. That doesn't make you anti-fragile. Tolerating shit doesn't make you anti-fragile. You know? If anything, it just, like... Like, it, it's not what people would argue, in my opinion. People would argue, it's like, oh, well, if you have a really high tolerance for shit, then, like, you know, you'll be grateful for when things aren't shit. It's like, what? If I, or, or you'd be able to exist in an environment that's realistically shit, but because your tolerance is so high, you'd be able to withstand how shit it is. It's like, but it's still shit. It's like, but, but you're still surrounded by shit. You could just tolerate it. Like, you know, it's like, is that a good thing? I don't think so. I think you should have standards. I think you should not tolerate shit, you know? funny but anyway rant over uh what was i doing oh yes i got out colors so i could make some uh olive drab military green that's what i'm looking for military green i'm going to do an attack helicopter anybody ever watch that thing uh oh fuck what was it called something wolf Airwolf, I think it was called Airwolf. It was a it's a nineties TV show. Might have been eighties actually. Me dad liked it. Remember, me dad used to watch it a lot. Um, it's basically just about this like guy who um, piloted this attack helicopter. I can't remember what the scenario was. If it was like Vietnam or some shit, like oh god. Burpingu. You remember the days where, like, the Apache attack helicopter was, like, 
the most iconic and famous attack helicopter. Just like like every time there was like an attack helicopter in a movie or a TV show or something like it was always an Apache. You know, and it was one of the it was one of the vehicles you heard about the most. Such an iconic uh, piece of machinery. The Apache helicopter. Mm, went a bit too... Or oh, put way too much red in that. Basically got brown. Not olive. Hold on. Okay. We kind of have an ochre kind of have a yellow ochre right now and slap a bit more green in it and it should be all right uh i watched it and blue thunder i don't remember i don't remember blue thunder um but yeah i remember remember airwolf being a, a bit of crack because they just had like good mu like you know good music over like montages of him just like wrecking places with a fucking apache attack i don't even know if it was an apache or like some kind of modified Apache. You know, modified to look cooler for the telly. <laughs> okay, we're just going to go with this green. Uh, yeah, we'll put it over here. Like, who wouldn't want to fucking go one of those things? Like, could you imagine if someone was just like, like, how much would that cost? Like, do you know what I mean? To get inside a fucking attack helicopter and like wreck a load of fucking prop targets in a field. Can you imagine how satisfying it would be to just let a load of fucking missiles and like minigun rounds go on a fucking barn in the middle of a field or something? Like, you know, just boom. Just watching the thing just get disintegrated, like, as you do a pass, like, that's what I love about helicopters. You can just like hover it in place and absolutely decimate an area. And then just choo -choo 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 -choo. fucking unreal. Like I actually aren't really good at like uh what was it, Battlefield uh I think it might have been Battlefield 3. I can't like I can't remember what uh Battlefield it was, but it was one of the one of the Battlefield games on PlayStation and um oh, it was Battlefield 4, that's what it was, yeah. And um the, the piloting the the uh, the helicopters and that was very very accurate you know like in in the sense that like you know it was very it was very realistic but with simplified controls um but still enough controls that like you know you have your pitch and your yaw and all this stuff like you know, the elevation and fucking tilt and you, you know the, the the rear rotor and all like and like you could can do some slick shit in those things like you know where if you get the if you get the angle and the speed and all right, you could like come in and as you're coming in, just like dump on a place and end up like strafing in such a way that anyone who saw you come in would have a really hard time trying to line up a shot on you. And like just brilliant stuff. Like you see, you see some people do like fucking insane shit and those things like even in real life. You ever see that clip of some Phil trying to do a flip in an attack chopper in the, in the snowy mountains someplace? And he, like, upends the thing entirely. He's, like, he's like trying to do a backflip in the thing. And he just wipes out all over the fucking mountains. Like, intense. A helicopter crashing is, like, one of the most violent fucking things you'll ever witness. Like, <laughs> just... Boom! And, like, bits of a cone everywhere. <laughs> like, all that... All that fucking... Uh, centrifugal force, all that rotary force, all of a sudden just stops and just fucking expels all over the place. Like it's like a bomb going off. Like ridiculous looking. Yeah. 
in some gray again. Tiny squirt, just a wee one. Oh yeah, I fucking uh, I uh, I got an Ethernet cable. That's probably one. Of the, that's probably the reason why the stream is so stable. Um, and no, I didn't. I didn't ring Gary. <laughs> just I just ordered one off Amazon. Uh, fucking uh, thirty meter Ethernet cable. <laughs> I just literally have it like plugged into the thing and then it's like going all the way out to the other side of the house. I noticed the last couple of streams it was starting to get a bit choppy. I was like, right, fuck this. I was like, is that right with like, you know, something like Owen's thing? Or like a lot of it isn't visual. You know, he's like talking, like I know he plays videos and stuff and all like but like a lot of it is just him most of it's just him talking and maybe he'll play videos or something but that's why like you know an audio recording of owen or like you know just an audio stream uh makes a lot of sense like you know the fact that there's audio recordings of this stream is just so fucking funny that it's <laughs> it's kind of crazy <laughs> um right time for raving goo Now, hello! You can uh, fuck off of my stream, you gimp! I'm gonna sell your fucking. Pedal your shite on my stream, will you? Are you serious? I fucking rewind the thing to the beginning and it gives me another ad. Oh man, YouTube is just going to the dogs like. Right. YouTube can go fuck itself for so many reasons, but. We still use it, you know? Who doesn't? The Apache crushes. It's almost as cool as the Russian KA-50. Two sets of main rotor blades and ejection seats. Ejection seats? What angle are those things at? <laughs> it's like, you'd want to hope the fucking... Did it... Like, there's no way that they time it, do they? For when the, like, the prop is, like, out of the way, they fucking fire you out of it. Because, like, come on, like... Do you imagine, like, you design a, a helicopter to be like, oh, yeah, the, sh the seats eject, like, if anything happens, like, you know? <laughs> it's like, hit the eject button, boom! And you just get fucking minced in the, in the immediately in the prop, like... Oh, God. You get turned into fertilizer for the fucking ground below immediately, like... Yeah, like, ejection seats! Cut the fuck! I fell from a Sea King helicopter when I was in the Marines. Oh, shit! Were you, like, rappelling out of it and you fell? How far did you fall? Fuck! That's intense! God.
Got it into you. There we go. That's military green. That's a nice olive color. Time for the wolves. Oh, blast you! You ruined the wolves! Of all fucking things to ruin, you ruined the wolves! 12 seconds remaining in this advertisement! You must be fucking joking! I have to shout over this shit for about 30 fucking seconds so you can peddle your filth! As if you don't peddle it enough! Amazon is fucking everywhere! You fucking sell everything to everyone! And you need to come to painting go to peddle your shit! And what's this? Jobs for Irish people! Are you fucking serious? Are you having a laugh? You employ all the foreigners and you advertise this? The fucking shame of it all! God damn. Interrupting painting goo is a fucking sin. I don't care who you are. Allegedly, the rotors get blown off and then the canopy. Yeah, but that, that'd that have to be it. Like, the fucking, the rotor would just have to be gone or, like, stop, lock, dead. Out of the way so that the seats could go out, like. I have heard, though, that, like, you know, stuff like that isn't actually, like, impossible to time. Like, the fucking, I can't remember what they're called. But you know them American uh, military planes that, like, they're, they're, the props can uh, tilt up and then tilt forward? And, uh, oh, what's the other ones? Chinooks. Chinooks as well. Uh, or Chinooks, whatever you want to call them. They, their, their rotors are, like, timed to, like, miss each other. It's mad, like, to, like, to, to think that you could actually, like, at those speeds, guarantee that they're not going to fucking, like, you know... And then I think, like, that might have been, like, an earlier design, and then later they just, like, put one slightly above the other one and shit. But, like, I've heard stuff like that, where they have, like, massive metal objects passing each other at high speeds, but because they did the maths, they're like, no, yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> I just... Oh, fuck, like... Um... We were roping down, my kit got stuck, and one of the air crew kicked me out. Fell 30 feet, bust my back. Damn! Did he kick you out because, like... 
you know, he couldn't he couldn't pull you back up because of the way you were caught, so he had to just like kick you down. That's crazy. <laughs> Love the rants. <laughs> Some people come to painting goo just to hear me shout at the ads. <laughs> yeah, that does sound crazy. I'd have sued that motherfucker, like, kick me over, chopper, you prick. <laughs> tell them, Defender. I will, I will fucking tell them. They're peddling their filth on my stream. -o. The nerve. Painting goo. Painting goo. Painting goo. Painting goo. Painting goo. Goo goo goo. Painting goo. Goo goo goo. my stream you i don't give a fuck about your flat cars that go real fast nobody does Ron. you're having a laugh those things fall up fucking part like toilet roll
Get it into you. Do goo 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 Do goo 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 Get French. Now I bless the painting. Go. The smoke blesses the painting. Go. It seals the soul in the painting. Go. I'm only like I'm, I'm only messing. It's a lot of bollocks. Doesn't do that at all. I'm just addicted to nicotine. It's got nothing to do with fucking. It's not like I'm smoking sage and I'd be like. <sighs> I started watching Snowpiercer the other day with the female. It's okay. There's a fuckload of plot holes in it. The acting's like so par for the most part. Like one of the main characters, Andre Layton, is like fucking loser. I don't like him. There's just something about his voice. <laughs> Name's Andre Lane. Eh, got dreadlocks. I'm the only nigger on the train. I just fucking like, oh, I don't know. It's all right, like. And it really is, but it, like, it fucking those Netflix shows, like a lot of them. When you're watching them and like the dialogue and shit, like, it's just like, did a fucking teenager write this? Like, what the fuck? Didn't Laura Loom or someone like that say they identify as an attack helicopter? Yeah. <laughs> I remember that on Twitter a while ago. Like, I've never been on Twitter, but like, you know, you see shit like it all, like, you hear about shit. I identify as an attack helicopter. It's so funny. It's like one of the most badass base things to identify as, like, do you know what I mean? Like, well, I'm a pan trans non binary duelist fucking fandango wanker. Like, do you know what I mean? I am an Apache. It's. <laughs> what, like the Indian? No. The mechanical death machine that flies through the sky. I, what's fantastic is how fucking degenerate you people are. Get the fuck off my stream. Get it into you. Allow the music to move your spina.
missing anything? We need something on the bridge. Got some. They got some cars in there or some shit. Do 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 painting goo. Like the shittiest little cars I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, I think I think if we could put a goblin in here. What, what time is it? Is that twenty five minutes left? Yeah. Okay. Mint green. No, oh, I need goblin green. <laughs> Nearly there. Nearly goblin green. I've attained it! Goblin Greenu! Uh,
Make him a hot bellied little fat fucker. Random sound effect. Ah! For the wolves! Domo arigato for your... money. <laughs> your patronage for painting goo is much appreciated. No, you're not getting any of that. You can sit there and play your little piano. Practice, bitch. While I'm painting you. But get off, you little bastard. There'd be no dort on my painting, Lou. Try octane painting energy. A little squirt. Just a wee one. Tiny squirt. What is this racket? How dare you interrupt painting you with such frivolous noise? The nerve. The nerve of these people.
Right. What is the grabbler going to say? What does the little goblin have on his sign? Jesus, that's white, isn't it? That's the kind of white we like in painting you. Um, this is chilling to watch. Then the rants wake me up again. <laughs> There is a there's a tad bit of oscillation on the painting goo in terms of the vibe. <laughs> like, could be an hour and a half of me just sitting here with no music talking about whatever the fuck I want to talk about. Or it could be two hours of me just blasting tunes while painting chaos. Um <laughs> when you become world leader, will you stop all adverts? <laughs> Where I, Emperor. Ads would be limited to five seconds. I, w I don't think I would get rid of ads, but I think they should be like if you can't if you can't skip an ad, it the limit to an ad that you can't skip should be like three or five seconds. It should just like come up with a brand name and a tune, and that's it. Do you know what I mean? It should just be like Hello. that's it. No narrative, no selling, no nothing. Just like. Remember, you know, ever seen this before? Like something like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I used to like ads. There were some ads on the television that I used to like watching. <laughs> Funny ones. Mainly funny ones. Riffo Barrow, what the fuck have you been to? Are you well? You are very raked. Very raked to the painting go. Um, I'm gonna put a blue car in. Cause like there's just a red car and a, and a yellow car. <laughs> I'm gonna put a blue car in. It's like two cars on the road. Like everybody else is already gone. It's just like, there's two. Poor unfortunate niggas who just got left behind in the Czech Republic while well, the place gets decimated by a giant ninja. Yeah, we'll put it like here. Getting Pops his new van, the house. That I seriously fucking hate this, like, little heart thing. Getting Pops his new van to the house. Oh, you're you're bringing him his new vehicle to his home? Is that, is that what that means? Because seriously, the chat just gets so fucked up by that fucking... How ironic is it that a heart symbol on the screen is the thing that just obscures everything like <laughs> everybody everybody has way more honor than you right now griff everybody has like way more honor than you right now you're gonna have to you're gonna have to you're behind on honor <laughs> you are running low on honor oh my god how fucking how fucking funny would it be right if I made a painting goo app where like it, it it tracked your chi and your honor and like you'd get notifications on your phone and it's like what and you'd be like what the fuck and you look at your phone and it's like you are running low on honor please uh top of up <laughs> it's like <laughs> and then, yeah, instead of pay your gay away it's like you're topping up on honor <laughs> it's just like Oh fuck! Right, what's the what's the grappler saying? I'm gonna get French while I wait for it. I was thinking like the classic, he's trying to hurt us or some shit like would be quite funny. What's this symbol here? 
save to collections. Odd. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, like, it'd be so funny if, like, you know, the painting go up. You know, like, my bandana is not for sale. And you're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, how funny would it be if I actually, like, I sold bandanas that look exactly like this, you know, when I, I, I wouldn't, though, you know what I mean? Like, it'd just be a funny thing. I just, like, I am, I am planning to send, sell my own, uh, to sell my own version of bandanas, like, eventually, like, but, uh, it'd be so fucking funny if I gave you the option to buy a bandana, and then when you, when you click to, like, buy or put it in a basket or whatever, like, it just says, my bandana is not for sale. It's so funny. <laughs> what do you mean it's not for sale? Like, it's not, it is for sale. It's on the fucking screen. It's fucking... $9.99, like, what the fuck? It is for sale. My bandana is not for sale. You know, trying to press the button and all, like, it won't let me buy the fucking thing. It, <laughs> it is our timer to top a <laughs> Oh my god, it'd be so funny. Brother Griffo, you are running low on honor. You must uh, top a opal. Please uh, select one of uh, the following three options. <laughs> much honor. Much, uh, much uh, honor. And too much honor. It's <laughs> like... Oh, fuck. How about the uh, how about the grabbler is saying like, he's holding up a sign that says that's ninja as fuck. <laughs> he's like witnessing the least ninja thing ever, apart from the fact that it's a giant ninja. Throwing a table is like the least ninja thing a ninja would do. It's just like milling a table at someone bar fight style. Hello? Go, 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 go. His ninja as fuck. <laughs> it's nice and clear as well. <laughs> right, I'm gonna give this little fucker his demonic yellow eyes. Boom, doom. 
Um, <laughs> too much honor. <laughs> you have uh, too much honor. You must. Why <laughs> would you do that? Like, you must lower your honor level, don't you? <laughs> You have a three options. You can uh, wear jorts for a day. You can uh, watch a Netflix for a day. Or you can uh, drown a puppy. This will lower your honor level substantially. You will then need to raise your honor level again. <laughs> I want to spend more time not listening to you peddle your shit on my stream. Shop that car. Right. I believe we are finished here. So, so I'm just like eating paint now. It's like got a lot of paint on the bottom of my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Benefits of being a demigod. I can eat paint all day and not die. <laughs> so, this concludes the conflict in the Czech Republic. A ninja came seeking revenge for his cousin. And he was again thwarted by the local military. The local authorities. <laughs> oh, God. Right. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Painting Goo. I have been Defender And this has been an epic depiction of a clash of forces in Eastern Europe. Until tomorrow. Same time, same place, same high octane painting energy. You've never seen paint dry like this before. If you would like to support Painting Goo, the rink is in the description. Do not make me take Garlos's bucket off of his head. You will regret it. 
Until tomorrow, be good, be true, and be beautiful. I love you all. Sayonara!